In this program, you are evaluated on everything you do. If you perform up to the expectations in the offseason, both in the weight room and classroom, you are known around here as a champion. And to be a champion, you have to also eat like one. Steak, fried shrimp, cookies, you name it. A meal fit for a king. A lot of sprints and a lot of weights moved, a lot of team runs, all that with Coach Savage and his staff all summer. When I walked in the room and I seen my name on the table, I'm like, oh Lord, okay. He <laughs> looks like I did something all summer. Look at that. It's me. I'm just saying. I don't know. Yes, sir, Fred. the first time I'm deviling back. Hey. Hey. I'm deviling back. 2021 Champions Club. Five and five. Give me. I mean, it was a reward for all of the uh, guys who were chosen to be champions. I mean, um, we put in a lot of work from the offseason, but we were just glad to be able to um, sit up there and get um, some different items and awards and have like better food than the other guys. Champions, champions. See that I'm made a champion. You know, get my. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Today is not only a celebration of the individual champions but also a crowning of the off-season team champion as well. All right, we have a little off-season awards too because we're right. wrapping up the whole off-season. First one, we got the off-season team competition, the full total. Six. Okay. Two. From accountability, class, performance, everything in the weight room, started in January and now marks the end. Okay. Out of eight teams. What do they get? What's the gift? The gift is a pair of uh, star kits, I believe. Oh! 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 This is an individual recognition that you did everything great to be a champion. Understand. This is a team as a whole work together to be the best in the classroom, in the community, in the weight room, in off season, at practice. Member, members of the winning team, you come up, you come see Jeff, he'll give you your shoes, he's got them all labeled. And the winning team is Team Six! Oh, 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 I told you, we have the, the boat, the boat! Hey, you feel me? Hey, hold on, hold on, what we got? I know they made hey, as a captain of Team Six, I would like to thank all y'all for trying. Y'all can try again next year because y'all don't got it. But hey, guys, guys, hey, as the coach of Team Six, I just want to say I'm proud. And I will wear my shoes with a great deal of pride. Thank you, man. While only one team can come away with a new pair of J's, the real prize is still waiting to be taken. You walk in, it's a bunch of steaks over there, looking tantalizing, sitting under the lamps, looking crazy. And then um, I think they had some shrimp in there for us. The rules are simple. This food is reserved for those who were named a champion. Those that weren't have to settle for something else. I got another special. Ooh. I another special. Ooh. We sit on the other side of the room and we get to just look at those guys eating hot dogs and and, and dry hamburgers and stuff like that. Hey, what a hamburger is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, you know. This is so good. Got a little steak, a little shrimp. Got some cookies too. End it right way. I might go a little bit of shrimp. Dip, dip, and then go cut on that steak. 
This is the best part right here. See all this fat right here? That's the best part right there. All that fat. Then I have I have to get like two steaks because the first steak is like the the sample, and then the second steak is like oh yeah. It's time to get it's time to get active, you know what I mean? Richard got like two steaks in this burger that was like this big. It was and he put like it was like more mayonnaise than meat on the burger. I don't it was too much for me. Hey bro, how much mayo you got on that burger, dog? No. He like to do a lot with his plate. He just stacks his whole plate up and it's just it's wild. We got the steak right here, medium well how I like it, you know. It's a little mashed potatoes right here. You always gotta have some greens on your plate. Got the little A1 on the side. You always gotta have the greens on the side. You don't need the greens, you know. I don't, see, I don't eat too many greens, you know. Got the brown. Get the brown. The A1 sauce. I got a little, I'm gonna say the over the well done. This is well done, ribeye right here. Maybe a New York strip, I ain't so. You can't go wrong with them fried script, them fried script, baby. Hey, that's what these champions get. Going to Florida, you a champion, baby. They're going to take care of you now. There is something special about this time of year in Gainesville. The buzz around campus as students return from their summer break is inescapable. But there is another growing excitement in the air. Something Dan Mother never gets tired of, even as he enters his 13th season as a head coach in the Southeastern Conference. Got some pads on today for the young guys. All right, men's, how we doing? Uh, key is, That's the pass. but the key is learning how to do things. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, yeah, you want to go a little bit upper tempo walkthrough, but the walkthrough, what am I getting out of it? Yeah. You know, I mean, do I get, do I, if I just go two steps, tends to like laziness. Do I get to make sure my, I get exact hand placement, keep my feet moving, all yeah, that no, stuff, you know what I mean? Walking. But I mean, if you, it depends. If you do it right, you get a lot more out of it. I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete, Richard. Lots of steps. Woo, 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 woo. Being a Gator comes with high expectations. And there's a standard everyone in the program is held to at all times. No one knows better than Dan Mullen that at the end of the day, the game is meant to be fun. I look like a raw cat compared to Big Stu. I'm just ready to go. I'm going to get a piece of my mood though. <laughs> God gave you two hands, use both of them. And when you catch one hand, it would have given you how many hands? Just one. <laughs> What do we tell you a punt return? Do we run like this to try to block the punt or no? No. We run and then shoot hands. Same thing, so don't be running like this. Run, see the ball, and then shoot the hands to it. You know what I'm saying? It'll keep your balance much cleaner. It's back knee, vertical. You're blocking that guy. Because all you got to do is this. Watch, if you're rushing the punter, right? Boom, if I do that, can you block the kick? No. You were trying to do the pump block yesterday. Does that make sense? So what I want to do, now watch, swim me. Ooh, now you got a shot. Does that make sense? So if I just get that back knee through and rip through square, now, now he can't. I'm gonna walk the earth. bring out like, all the grit in you like it sometimes we'll go out there and it's 98 degrees and it's 102 degrees on the field and I mean we got a full long a two hour and 30 minutes practice and I mean we just gotta grind through it okay okay here come them goons here come them goons bring them up. Bring run them off back. the football right with bad intentions run off the ball with bad intentions here we go oh, attack the block good that's it, that's it, that's it. Have a mentality about you, right guys? Ball, ball, ball! Get up, get up, get up! Go get it! Hey, catch him, don't score! Catch him, don't score! Same drop, every rep, and then if you got a shot down the field, take it. Being consistent, snap after snap after snap. The 
same technique, all right? In your gap, you take it, you make it, right? Are you ready for your at bat? Are you ready when the ball's hit to you? Are you ready? I, I ain't played in forever. But I'm ready for that one moment. That's what you train for, that one moment. Everything we train for is that one moment. The grind of camp can be overwhelming. And while one day may seem to run into the next, as a player, you are trained to expect the unexpected. I knew something was up because everything here happens the same exact way every single day. Like, coaches wear the same fits, all that type of stuff. Cannot lose our training camp mindset. 10 30, 30, get our rest. Okay, and what we need to do tomorrow, more tomorrow, the afternoon practice. Okay? Coach didn't have shoes on, he had slides on. A lot of coaches had slides on, and everything was a little bit more relaxed. So I'm like, something's up. But we have got to keep our training camp mentality to keep going. Everybody got me. Like, oh man, we about to do another walkthrough. Okay, because I want us fresh. The schedule right now, okay, you're going to jump in the vans with your coaches. Okay. Jump, in, jump in the vans with your coaches. Okay. You will get dinner money tonight. They have snacks for you, and you guys all have free passes to Dave and Buster's for the no! Live in effect, yeah, yeah. We here, man, Dave and Buster, man. When we work, we work. When we rest, we rest. The time to rest, have fun, chill with the fellas, you feel me? When we play, we play. Man, I felt like a little kid again. Woo, they block in the house. Everybody immediately went to like the little basketball game. Because for some reason, football players want to be basketball players, and basketball players want to play football. Of the I went straight to Guitar Hero. <laughs> you gotta get that, you gotta get that. Went down, played Guitar Hero for like an hour and a half straight. Been playing that since I was a little kid. It's one of my favorite games ever, so I just, I was just chilling there. I wanna see a strike. Look at the camera. I told you, you said Kirk Butler. I'm gonna get the big one. The big one. Especially, I walked in there, got 111, the high score on there as soon as I walked in there. And nobody wanted to play me no more. No! no! Let's go! <laughs> give, it, give him the money! I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> Straight head, it's him. It's him. That's him! Let's go! Oh my god! Oh. Almost everywhere you look in the Florida football facility, you are reminded of the great players of Gators past. For quarterbacks coach Garrick McGee, it is important to keep his players focused on the present. 
We ready to work? Did you go to class today? Did I go to class? Yeah. Of course, I was in there for two hours. <laughs> good. Good. And I took some good notes. Yeah. What was the class about? Sports, media, and society. And tell me one thing you learned. Oh, shit. I think I'm I can show you. Oh. No, 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 no. I want you to tell me what you remember. Learn about like how the media portrays certain things and how the media reacts to certain things. Okay. Like they have a job to do, and they're not always out to get people. I guess. And that's a good point. Yeah. That we always see the media is they always on us when we screw something up. But everybody got a job to do. It's a great point you made. And when you go from being the backup quarterback when everybody loves you. And you ain't done nothing wrong all yeah. game because you sit on the sideline. <laughs> then you jump into the number one slot and everything you do is wrong. So I want it to be a relaxed environment, especially when we're in the learning environment in the classroom or in the meeting room. Um, but at the same time, we have a lot of information to cover. Nice job. There's no curl defender week. Flat defender ran out. Bang, nice pitch and catch. He's got to get out of bounds, okay, we're going. He's been exciting. I mean, he was around last year, but it was a, a kind of different transition with Coach Johnson here last year and, um, and Coach McGee this year. I mean, he's a, definitely a people person and he gets to know, like, I mean, everybody in the room. He relates to everybody in the room. So, I mean, he's easy to work with. I mean, he coaches us up on everything like just to be a quarterback, how to be a quarterback, and just the ins and outs of everything. I mean, I'm loving it. What happened the last shot don't affect the next shot. Because this was a miss for a touchdown. But then the next play, you'll come right back and make a great throw, bang, game over and win. He dictates the tempo, you know, he has to make the checks and direct traffic and make sure guys are going in the right direction. So it's important to me that the quarterback shows up on the practice field and they have the right temperament, the right intensity. Um, so there's a thin line because I want them um, to enjoy coming to the meeting room, but at the same time, they have to understand how important the information is that we're going through for our whole program. Individual. We got ball handling, we'll have routes with the receivers. Yesterday, I think the ball hit the ground one time, maybe twice in routes. You know what I mean? Let's take pride in that, man. Right, when we go to routes, the ball don't touch the ground. No more. The, the balls are on point and our guys are gonna catch the ball. Every single throw that you make matters. It doesn't matter if you're just warming up, if you're out here standing next to Pierce and he's doing these stupid dances. It don't matter. Every throw counts. So let's see it. Transfer your weight, get your back hip through, that's, and you get to a point where that's the only way you know how to do it. I'm expecting that ball. Make your play. Let's go. Right on line. Go, go. Right on line. Turn. That's good. That That's good. He can run. Keep him on the ground. Hand it off. I'm running. Make plays. Run it. Run. Run. Make plays. It's more of a family bonding uh, type unit, you know. Uh, I feel like this year the team is a lot closer, but uh, as the QBs, I feel like we have more of a brotherhood. Uh, we're starting to hang out more, we're starting to uh, just learn more about each other and just building that brotherhood. Now, raise up. Oh, my God. That's perfect. Ball's rolling off your finger. Quick hands, quick feet, Ant. There it goes. Catch, quick hands. That's like my little brother. Like, really, like, that's really like my little brother. As soon as I got here, Felipe was that guy for me. He helped me and put the competition stuff aside. He helped me and, 
Like, just told me the ins and outs of college in general and how to maneuver and handle your business. And I mean, that's all I've been trying to do for Anthony and just, just making sure that he's ready when his time is called. It's the, the best thing is that they're really good friends. And it's not just they're both quarterbacks and they sit in the quarterback room so they're friends. That's not the relationship. They are friends. And they push each other. They're able to laugh at each other and make jokes about each other. Someone makes a bad read or a bad throw. Somebody's going to say, what are you doing, man? And it's going to be one of them two to say it before I say it. You know that? It's one of them days. I can see it. I can see it. He had one yesterday. But I know how to deal with knuckleheads. Because you know what? Believe it or not, I was one of y'all uh, at some point in my life. Just watching him do what he does, you know. Uh, you see him do crazy things on the field. So you're like, hey, like, I wonder if I can do that. So I just try to uh, implement that in my game and, and try to do the same thing he does. And also just being around him, you know, he, he's, he's a cool guy. And he's like a big brother to me. You know, it's a really fun group. Everybody has their own personality. That's important to me. Um, Jack is from up north, you know, so he's different. He's not a southern kid, so he sees things different, and he's able to, I want him to be exactly how he is. Kyle is from right here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, Kyle wants to be a construction guy when he grows up. He did an intern this summer uh, working with construction. Um, even though he looks like this little blonde-haired guy that's walking up and down the beach, He's really a construction worker to heart. And then Jalen's a kid from Texas. Um, obviously his dad played in the NFL a long time. Um, he has his own personality, very sincere, good kid. And then Carlos is, um, is Carlos. You know, we all make a lot of fun of Carlos because he's um, normally doing something to make us all laugh. Um, but Carlos has developed as a player. Um, you know, his release is quicker. He's starting to understand how important everything is. He's understanding more about defenses. Be patient. Good. Good. It could take three. Go. Attack. Attack. Another one. Another one. Set. Set. Get out. Get out. Good. Good. It has been said that it's more important to focus on the journey rather than the destination. The work done up to this point is what shapes a team and builds an everlasting brotherhood. This particular journey will have a few stops along the way, the first of which is a place called home, a place called the swamp. Look around, this is what it's all about. This is it. This is your house. The only thing missing is 90,000 plus. That's it. You could say an opponent coach, but guess what? Really at the end of the day, you know what the battle's between? You first, you! Ain't nobody out here can answer this. Was that your very best except who? You! That's it! You got a duty and a responsibility. Every play the crowd's on this field is yours. Yours!